Hi, welcome to Cubs and Culture uh, for March 12, 2018. Uh, quick little update, the Cubs didn't play today. Uh, I read a couple, of two, a couple of things today that sort of annoyed me. Uh, so I kind of have a, a little bit of a political rant about bad faith. Um, I'm going to mangle this a little bit because I'm tired. Um, bad faith, it comes from Sarge. It's basically the notion um, that people are... Uh, it kind of goes back to, it's like a form of bullshit, where people are offering a position or a principle that they don't actually um, believe in, what, because they're not willing to negotiate with you as equals, or uh, a reasonable de- um, people meeting, or they don't morally respect you, so they're basically just offering nonsense, or a principle that they think you'll accept, only to then do a switcheroo, um, once you kind of try to meet them halfway, um, I think bad faith is sort of a huge issue in this country. Um, anyway, the two things I read today was one, a person was been moaning, uh, sort of the smug style of American liberalism. This complaint sort of overblown, but it's sort of the notion that, uh, this person, uh, the left will call some, a conservative racist or something else, and the other person just says, fine, if you consider this position racist, I'll just be worse. Um, it's sort of like a trolling operation, and then and they sort of feed off of each other in sort of a negative feedback loop. And then the other article I read was posted by one of my friends, and even though I sort of like agree in principle, <laughs> and it's basically about how we don't handle disagreements anymore, that we don't like, uh, handle, um, People will say, I disagree, um, and have productive conversations because we don't have, uh, sort of the moral respect or whatever. My, and I kind of already posted this on, uh, Facebook, but, um, my problem with this, um, is it seems to, um, uh, based off of, uh, the pre, uh, the, uh, premise or, uh, the precondition that the left and the right in this country are fundamentally trying to engage in productive um, conversation. And I don't actually think that's true because I... And it's not a lot... I mean, there's people on the left who do this. There's people on the right who do this. Um, uh, who just engage in argumentation because they are actually are trying to hide their intentions or they're not forthright or don't speak plainly about what they're actually aimed at. Um, and I'm going to use sort of a, a two quick examples since I'm trying to make this a small update. The first thing is um, um, and there's this concept in uh, sociology called dog whistles, basically. What they mean, what, what they mean, uh, so a dog whistle is when a person says something like, I'm concerned that immigrants will speak English when, when they in fact mean is I'm afraid of foreigners. Um, sometimes unconscious, sometimes not. Um, uh, culture, like we have to protect American culture or Western civilization. Um, these are often, um, uh, used as dog whistles um, for racism. Now, the thing is, it's not actually true that everyone that says that they want to have a distinctive American culture is as opposed to a distinctive um, Mexican-American culture or whatever, um, is using it as a dog whistle of, I don't want brown people around. But the thing is, so many